This is America's favorite Asian language to learn, but does that mean they are also America's favorite Asian people? You know, Japan's history with the West has always been up and down, but we are glad that right now it's up. Uh, we got to talk it? about it, Andrew. Japanese is the most desired Asian language to learn amongst Americans. And a lot of people are asking the question, Andrew, by proxy, does that mean they're America's favorite Asian group? Wow, I would say maybe. But anyways, guys, we're going to go through the comment section. Uh, we'll give you our own thoughts. Please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Guys, currently we are sold out of Smala on the online store. But please check back in very, very soon, maybe a month from now. All right, let's take a look at the rank. Number one came uh, with Japanese with a average monthly search volume. This is all based off SEO search engine optimization, by the way, of uh, 170,000. Then you've got number two, Korean, coming in at 133. Real close, Andrew. Japan and Korea, Andrew. Yep. Andrew, we're yeah, talking about yeah. Ichiro getting mad at Korea, yeah. playing the flag on the pitching mound. we talking about Korean pitchers throwing sidearm. They're right there. People uh, like K-pop. K-pop and K-drama right now. But no, but K-pop has to defeat anime. Uh, moving on to number three, Andrew, we've got Mandarin all the way down at 52,000. Okay. Then Hindi, Ooh. those are your two big countries, right? Yeah, yeah, China yeah. and India, but they're multi-dialect or multilingual because there's a lot of different languages in those countries. Then it goes Thai. Uh, that's pretty close. Thai's right up there with Hindi. Andrew, some people had some theories about passport bros here. Okay. Coming. Well, uh, <laughs> we'll get into it. Vietnamese. Persian, they counted that as an Asian okay. language. Interestingly yeah, enough, sure, sure. I, I get it geographically. They don't consider themselves Asian. Filipino, mm -hmm. Kamai, aka Kaimer, but I, Kamai. I, I, Kamai is a little higher up than I thought it would be, and some people said that too. Number 10, Andrew, Telugu, which is a southern Indian dialect that is completely okay. different from Hindi, more Dravidian. Right, but that makes sense. It's almost like, um, you know, I don't know if this is the best comparison, but like Cantonese and Mandarin. You know, like Telugu might be the Cantonese to the Hindi that's Mandarin. Oh, man, Andrew, some people were sad that Cantonese wasn't in there. But I actually think, I don't know, is Cantonese, there's not that many Cantonese schools to learn, but I feel like Cantonese is like number 11 or 12. Deal! Uh, we got to talk about it. Do these stats surprise you immediately? Off the rip. Look at the macro stats. This is across states aggregate. Right. Nebraska was the only one where I believe, I want to say Korean was above Japan. So 49 out of the 50 states, Japanese. Do you think Koreans are mad because they're like, we've done so much over the past 15 years and people still want to learn Japanese? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think some of them actually did have that well, reaction. We'll get into the comments. Well, Japan, like, Japan's a much bigger country. And yes, it has a longer history. It has actually way more media still like the anime world is cr it's huge well and people have been looking up to samurais and ninjas and bushido yeah, yeah, yeah. blade and so the art and, for like hundreds of years and japanese food globally is still more popular so i'm not surprised because i think that for quote unquote geeks or weeaboos or like asia nerds that japanese is definitely the language they still want to learn i think korean a lot of people want to learn the basics of it because it's a hot language and then Mandarin, I feel like when people learn it, they might take it more seriously, but definitely less people are trying to learn it. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, just to stay in this frame of mind of like Japan versus Korea, uh, I, and I got to shout out to Ling Jia from uh, Worst Asian Podcast. He said that people would be more fascinated by Japan as a fantasy world, but if Americans had to pick between being Japanese or Korean, they'd rather be Korean because they view Koreans as more similar to Americans. I, I think so. I think that there is a sense that it's more like clear what Koreans are versus Japanese are way weirder. Right, they got, also, they're, they're like, do I gotta yeah. act like a Pokemon? Like, like that be interesting, but it'd be weird. Whereas a Korean, it feel like I would just be me, but like more hipper. Well, you know, I don't, I'm not sure if I would marry an octopus, you know? I don't know yet. So, you know, I don't know about this. I, I need to know how the tentacles would feel on my skin. Um. Interestingly enough, Andrew, Japan has gone through a crazy arc. So Japan was viewed as an economic competitor to America in the 1980s when Honda, Toyota, crazy trade surplus, they right. bought up all the buildings on yes. Fifth Avenue in New York City. Yes. However, 1985, America signs the Plaza Accords. The Plaza Accords is meant to eco economically potentially contain Japan. Mm. It 
uh, creates or contributes to a Japanese asset bubble. So people no longer are learning Japanese in 2024, Andrew, for Japan's economic dominance. They're learning it because they're just into animes or being a weeaboo or an right, otaku. Right, and would you say, for example, for Mandarin, more people are learning Mandarin because of its usefulness and for business reasons and for like kind of, I guess, academic reasons rather than because it's just so fun and cool to learn Chinese. Yes, well, the, here's the thing about Chinese, Andrew, is that even though China may become the country in the world with the largest GDP, not GDP per capita, just overall GDP, they're the arc of learning Chinese has actually gone down recently due to bad geopolitical relations. Right, right, right. Oh, so it's so actually I, got two like competing factors, like like the, the economic thing, and then blah, 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 and then there's well, the concerns I, about I, the long-term I feel like economy. six or seven years ago before like COVID and other stuff happened, uh, before the relationships got real tense, that people were thinking, oh, there's going to be this open door between China and America. It's going to be super easy to do business in between. Right. A lot of opportunities. Didn't really turn out that way for a number of reasons. So yeah, now it's like, it's discouraged a little bit of people and been like, I mean, even there was a time when we thought part of our careers could be in China. Yes, we got an offer to spend six months a year in Shanghai. It was an offer that was sort of, it was a yeah, soft yeah, offer. Yeah, it was a little, like it was a little Seven wonky, years ago. So, but then we had, it didn't end up taking it because it was a soft offer. And then obviously a bunch of stuff happened. So now it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Right, right, right. Um, obviously, the reason why people love learning Japanese and Korean right now, economically developed, pop cultural, cool. Oh, by the way, guys, I do want to say, just to be clear, this offer was from a media, like a, a new digital media company. Right, right, right. By the way, not like the government or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I know what the comments were going right, to say. Right, 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 it, right. it was not, it was, it was like a new media. It was from a Hong Kong company. It was, like it was from a Hong Kong company. It was a Hong Kong-based company. Yes, Hong Kong. Just to be company. clear, geopolitically friendly with America. Andrew, here's the cute. Cool, Interesting thing, the guys and the girls, the, I meant the girls and the guys are both viewed as hot commodities in Japan and Korea. Right, right. right. No, so I want to say this, though. I want to tell the people this. This doesn't mean that if you're not an Asian that is Japanese or Korean, you can't have a great time in America. But you know what it does mean? When you do have a great time, people are probably not, they're just going to like you for you and not your culture. Right, right, right. Like, because I know a ton of really good uh, looking or like cool Filipino guys, but it's true, they might be dating like cool, like hot white girls or black girls, but I don't think those hot white or black girls know anything about Filipino culture. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you were like a hot Korean or a Japanese guy, I think those girls almost want to become your culture. Yes. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't mean that you can't do it. It just means that they're not going to like assimilate to you. I, I get what you're saying. Well, I think... For example, a lot of Filipino, fly Filipino guys, like, you know, they, they date a lot of different types of people, but it's almost like date as an American. They yeah, date yeah, they as just a, present as like a light-skinned right. black guy or a Latino or something right. like that. Or, or just, uh, just one of the cool tan yeah. dancing agents. It, it's not like the girls like trying to learn Tagalog yes. for them, but if they're a hot Korean or Japanese guy, I do think there's about a 75% chance that girl's trying to learn phrases, go get omakase, yes. go get KBBQ yes. or... Gopjang or whatever. Yes, 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 yes. Anyway, I let's get understand. into the comment section. Somebody said, uh, this is a Korean guy. Interesting. Oh, uh, no, he, he would be like, oh, this is interesting. I wonder why. And then, of course, Andrew, this turned into a little bit of, uh, I guess, friendly jostling between Japanese and Koreans. I, I, th I thought was he was trying to make a play at the uh, whole, like, guys like Japanese girls thing. Because you know how, like, there's this whole thing about... Uh, Japan has a negative birth rate, so they need more babies and they need more foreigners. So then some guys might be learning Japanese now because they're like, oh, I want to go help repopulate Japan. I don't know if that's actually a significant number of guys, but maybe that's some of the thought process. Right, right, right. Other people were just talking about how it's so weird that different people, like, because basically this turned into an exclusive conversation between Japanese and Koreans about meeting white people who wanted to become Japanese or Korean. Because it's true that you don't, other Asians, would you agree, Andrew, they can't really fully be a part of that conversation. Right. Where people are like, and then this Korean guy said, man, it is so weird. One time I met this white guy who hated me because he thought that Japanese would hate me and he was trying to be so Japanese. Mm. That's fascinating. Right, 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 right. Um, moving on, somebody just said, yeah, learning Mandarin is so fun and useful. I can't recommend it enough. This is what somebody else said who was a, I believe he's African-American. And then this guy said, uh, of course, Mandarin just sounds awful to the ears and who wants to talk to them little pinks? So that turned into a back and forth argument uh, that also was like pretty major in the next shark comment section, Andrew. 
Do, is that very representative of the current well, environment? Mandarin is like nails on a chalkboard. Well, that's what somebody said. I, I don't, but I've never, Mandarin doesn't sound, I don't feel like Mandarin is one if of you, those awful, like that has that stereotype. I'm just literally talking about how other people view Mandarin. If I had to do an impression of someone pretending to speak Mandarin, they usually go like, oh, what's your shirt? What's he? What's his shirt? What's his shirt? But that is a little bit more Taiwanese Mandarin, though. Okay, but like. No, a lot of people don't know what Chinese is because a lot of people that you hear on the street speaking Mandarin, even if they are speaking Mandarin, they're not a native Mandarin speaker. They actually primarily speak their original provincial dialect, which could be this. It's complicated, guys. Yeah. Mandarin is not a bad sounding language, though. It might not be the best. It might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Korean not saying, or Japanese might sound smoother. Like oh, because the, uh, it's non-tonal, the tonal thing. But I actually think Mandarin can sound very nice depending on. Who's I speaking think every it. language can sound nice. A controversial opinion. Uh, I don't know if people agree with me. I think Viet can sound really nice. I I think that Viet can sound Vietnamese can sound very harsh, but I've heard it sound very smooth and cool. Where I was like. I'm dying, don't bang. I don't even know. I, I, it's not even that. Apparently, but like, that guy had a, a way accent, though. Drop that one. Um, somebody said, man, nobody wants to learn Cantonese, man. Yeah, I think Cantonese is, like I said, I think it's like got to be up on the list, though. Like, if it's an option to learn. Man, I just don't think there's a lot of just, Cantonese language material right now. I just think that if people want Canto to pop, first of all, I, I think you're just going to be able to burn the phrases in. It's almost like Latin. You know how nobody speaks full Latin anymore, but people say persona non grata and like Latin phrases all the time, especially if you speak legalese. Uh -huh. I think that that's the way Cantonese is going to go. But I would like to promote sick fun or something. You know what I mean? Like you got to, it can't just be dule. I just feel like I'm just, I, that could stay, but come on guys. No, I think Leng Tsai, like Leng Loi, and then like, uh, I'm saying you can find the places yeah. for it to be sticky, but Dai it can't, it can't just be the Cao, Cao yeah. Hao. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Guys, maybe we'll do a video of top 20 Cantonese phrases that could be embedded into even your English life. Dima, Dima's good. Uh, uh, the Thai language is going to grow on the list because of the passport, bro. It's basically people were theorizing about the different languages. Obviously, Hindi, it's pretty obvious. India is a gigantic country. That's but a lot of them speak English. You know what I mean? But, but, but honestly, a lot of the people learning Hindi could be Indian Americans, too. I think that's legit, oh, too. Oh, that's a good quote. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a lot of people that are trying to learn the man Mandarin, too, are probably also eight, like Chinese people that are just trying to get better at Mandarin. Right. Know? Yeah, because it doesn't have uh, the race and the age yeah, and the location Yeah, I wouldn't statistics. assume that these are all non-Asians learning. They But, like, but I, I do think the people learning Thai, Andrew, it might be more relationship-driven. No, uh, be honest. Uh, be uh, honest. No, no. It ain't learning Thai to do business. Maybe. I think that there are a number, I think a number of Thai Americans probably are, are trying to learn it to get better at it. But yeah, I think, yeah, there is that, that tourism aspect for sure. Um, somebody said, oh my goodness, I was surprised to see Kamai even on the list in ninth place. A lot of people that I talk to in America don't even know where it is. Yeah. Yeah, I would say I was surprised to see Kamai even on the list. So shout out. I think that some people may, could be Cambodia Americans who are trying to learn more Kamai. You know I'm what I mean? Cool. Uh, was it? I'm, I just know. You know, Jambri up soy, yeah, Jambri up soy, to go to cap, hang jong to gang it. Say it. Um, somebody Chile. said, uh, nope, I want to learn Mandarin. Sorry, guys. Other people, I mean, man, the learning thing about Mandarin right now is it's just like, I feel like a lot of people from China, Andrew, they do speak English, but if you want to tap into like more deeper cut conversations, you got to speak Mandarin, yeah, and you got to actually read and write it too because. That's a whole nother thing, you know. Um, somebody said, please do one based on race and gender. That's going to give a lot more context. So people are saying, like, if we could yeah. see the search engine, like, male, a, uh, males in Nebraska aged blah, blah, blah. They learned this language for this. And then you could confer. Yo, what yo, what if the number one Asian language learned in Nebraska is Thai? Yeah, oh. we're the Nebraska Thai, it, yo. Thai yo. Language Association. We are all trying to learn Thai because, uh, you know, it's a warm place to go to. <laughs> we just love Kapral. That's really uh, the reason why. It's oh, no yeah. other. It's not beyond the no, I'd probably be like, oh, yeah, we're trying to learn uh, the Thai language, yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know they speak like Canadians. You talking about people in Fargo? People. Is Fargo in Nebraska? I need to know the Where's Fargo? granular data for what people in Fargo are thinking. Oh, Fargo's in North Dakota. All right. Anyways, know. guys, uh, let us know what you think about this. What are your theories on why Japanese is number one or why some of these are even on the list? Uh, let us know because... I guess it's not a mystery why Japanese is up here. You know what I think? You know why I think Japan and Korea, for all other reasons that we said, geopolitical, pop cultural, soft cultural, hard cultural, whatever, blah, 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 GDP per capita. You know why I think that they're bolstered so much? It's because there are some, probably in my opinion, more like nerdy non-Asian girls who really like the guys from those countries. That's why it's double. If the guys are hotter... And more because trendy. it's adding a whole nother gender into the SEO pool. That's a good point, man. That's what uh, I think. Because, yeah, Asian women, everybody likes Asian women. But, yeah, once you like the Asian guys, then you're definitely learning some words of the language. No, because look at the stats. It's literally numerically, statistically double plus some. So that double is just a whole nother gender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. That's what Anyways, I think. guys, uh, what do you guys think about David's theory? Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, which of these Asian languages would you try to learn? Please let us know. Hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.